This particular work cell here is the start for the whole workflow. Samples that are taken from patients to purify of the viral RNA that may be present. As samples are provided to the testing facility, they are transferred in, into each well of this particular plate here. It's a higher plate than normal, so it has a higher volume. And through the instrumentation on this work cell, it will go through with the lysis of the cells to the actual purification and binding of the RNA. Magnetic beads will be added to the sample itself. And with this instrumentation here, there are magnets, one for each well of this plate. And to make sure that the actual physical binding of the magnetic beads to the magnet are not permanent, there is a, a sleeve here, it's called a comb, that will allow the magnets to be separate from the sample itself. It's both a physical and a chemical purification process. You have the physical binding of the magnetic beads to the magnet itself, which allows you to wash away anything else that you don't want. Uh, but at the same time, you can turn on and off the magnet to release the beads with the complex use of whatever type of reagent is in the process to either wash or to release. You can actually strip the um, viral material off of the beads itself. There's uh, actually six different reagents that are used throughout this entire process and there is a dedicated instrument for each one. So at the end of the whole process itself, um, it is considered patient sample, so it is aspirated out of these wells before they're thrown.